The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. remains one of the most controversial moments in American history. A beacon of hope, a voice for the voiceless, and a champion of civil rights, King's life was abruptly and tragically cut short on April 4, 1968. The official narrative tells us that King was shot by James Earl Ray, a small-time criminal with an apparent motive and opportunity. But is that the whole truth? King's death in Memphis, Tennessee sent shockwaves across the nation and the world. The civil rights leader was only 39, yet he had already made an indelible mark on the annals of American history. The man held responsible, James Earl Ray, was a fugitive from the Missouri State Penitentiary. Ray was apprehended in London two months after King's assassination, and he confessed to the crime. He was sentenced to 99 years in prison. However, the story didn't end there. Ray soon recanted his confession, claiming he was innocent and a victim of a broader conspiracy. He spent the rest of his life trying to prove his innocence, maintaining that he had been set up as a patsy. The inconsistencies in the case, the lack of a definitive murder weapon, and Ray's subsequent recantation of his confession have left many questions unanswered. The controversy surrounding King's assassination has evolved into a myriad of conspiracy theories, many implicating the government and intelligence agencies. The Federal Bureau of Investigation's contentious relationship with King, their illegal surveillance of him, and the suspicious aspects of the assassination itself have all added fuel to the fire of speculation and doubt. So, was James Earl Ray truly the lone assassin as the official narrative claims? Or was he merely a pawn in a larger, more sinister plot? As we delve deeper into the evidence, the lines between truth and conspiracy begin to blur. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. is not just a tragic moment in history, it is an unresolved mystery that continues to beg for answers. On April 4, 1968, the world lost a beacon of hope and justice. The man who dared to dream, Martin Luther King Jr., was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. The official narrative tells us that King was standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel when a single gunshot ended his life, a life dedicated to fighting racial injustice and preaching nonviolence. The manhunt that followed brought James Earl Ray into the spotlight. A small-time criminal, Ray was arrested at London's Heathrow Airport two months after King's death. He was extradited back to the United States, where he was charged with King's murder. Ray initially confessed to the crime, a confession that would later become a pivotal point in the story. He admitted to purchasing a Remington Game Master rifle, the supposed murder weapon, and renting a room in a boarding house near the Lorraine Motel. He said he fired the fatal shot from the bathroom window of that boarding house. His confession, however, was not without its peculiarities. He claimed he didn't know the power of the rifle he bought, nor did he fully understand the magnitude of the crime he was confessing to. But the weight of his confession held, and Ray was sentenced to 99 years in prison. Yet just days after his sentencing, Ray recanted his confession. He claimed he was a pawn in a larger conspiracy and that he had been coerced into pleading guilty. He spent the remainder of his life attempting to withdraw his guilty plea and secure a trial, a trial that, he believed, would expose the truth. The evidence against Ray was substantial. Fingerprints found on the rifle and the binoculars, the admitted presence at the scene, and his hasty flight to Canada and then to England all pointed to his guilt. Yet, the ballistics tests were inconclusive, failing to definitively link the bullet that killed King to Ray's rifle. This inconsistency, among others, would later fuel numerous conspiracy theories. The trial that followed was swift. Without a jury, and based on his initial confession, Ray was convicted. Justice, it seemed, had been served. But the narrative was far from complete. The absence of a jury trial, the inconclusive ballistics report, and Ray's insistence on his innocence left a lingering cloud of doubt. Yet, despite Ray's conviction, many believe there's more to the story. Doubts and questions have swirled around the official version of events since the beginning. From the moment Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on that fateful day in April of 1968, a myriad of conspiracy theories have been woven, some more plausible than others, each with its own unique narrative and cast of characters. Let's delve into the labyrinth of these theories, which are as varied as they are intriguing. The most persistent theory, one that has been widely circulated, is the claim that the U.S. government was behind King's assassination. This theory primarily stems from the illegal surveillance carried out by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Central Intelligence Agency against King. The FBI, under the leadership of J. Edgar Hoover, had a contentious relationship with King. 
Hoover's distaste for King's activism and his fear of the civil rights leader's influence made King a primary target for surveillance. The FBI's secret program, known as COINTELPRO, had been used to monitor and disrupt social and political movements that the agency deemed subversive. King, with his powerful rhetoric and growing influence, was seen as a threat to the status quo. This led to the speculation that the FBI might have had a hand in his assassination. The CIA's involvement is also questioned, given its infamous reputation for covert operations and assassinations during the period. While no concrete evidence has emerged linking the CIA directly to King's murder, the agency's known actions during this era have fueled these suspicions. Another prominent theory involves James Earl Ray, the man who initially confessed to the assassination, only to recant his confession later. Ray maintained his innocence until his death in prison in 1998. The fact that ballistics tests on the murder weapon were inconclusive, and the various inconsistencies in Ray's account have led some to believe that he was a scapegoat, set up to take the fall for a much larger conspiracy. In fact, in 1999, a civil lawsuit brought by the King family concluded that King was the victim of a government conspiracy, with the jury finding that numerous government agencies were complicit in the plot. While the verdict was controversial and has been disputed, it nonetheless added fuel to the fire of conspiracy theories surrounding King's death. Lawyer Mark Lane, a notable critic of government narratives, has been a vocal proponent of the theory that the government was involved in King's assassination. His allegations of a government cover-up have been echoed by various individuals and groups over the years, adding yet another layer to the web of conspiracy theories. These theories suggest a much darker and complex narrative than the one accepted. They paint a picture of a world where the fight for equality and justice is met with subterfuge and assassination. While we may never know the full truth behind King's assassination, these conspiracy theories serve as a stark reminder of the lengths to which powers may go to maintain the status quo. In 1999, a civil suit jury came to a startling conclusion. A reverberation rang across the nation as the King family brought a civil suit against none other than the U.S. government. The claim? That the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. was not the act of a lone gunman, but rather a chilling product of a government conspiracy. The trial was a spectacle a gripping tale of intrigue and suspicion. Evidence was presented that had long been dismissed or ignored. The family's legal team, led by an attorney named William Pepper, argued that the assassination was the result of a complex plot involving the FBI, the CIA, the Memphis Police Department, and the Mafia. They claimed that James Earl Ray, the man convicted for King's murder, was merely a pawn in a larger game. Witnesses stepped forward, their testimonies painting a picture of an elaborate conspiracy. Some spoke of mysterious figures seen near the scene of the crime. Others revealed that King had been under extensive surveillance by government agencies. One former Memphis police officer even claimed he had been part of a special unit tasked with ensuring King's assassination was successful. The jury deliberated for less than four hours before returning with their verdict. To the shock of many, they found in favor of the King family. They concluded that Martin Luther King Jr. had indeed been assassinated as part of a government conspiracy and that James Earl Ray was not the true assassin. Yet despite this bombshell verdict, the mainstream media largely ignored the trial and its outcome. This dismissal of the jury's findings only added fuel to the fire of conspiracy theories. It deepened the divide between those who trusted the official narrative and those who questioned it. The trial's impact was profound. It shook the nation forcing many to question the very institutions they had long placed their faith in. It cast a shadow over the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., transforming his assassination from a tragic act of violence into a symbol of hidden truths and government deceit. But despite the controversy, the trial also served as a reminder of King's enduring impact. His fight for justice, his passion for equality, and his dream of a better world continue to inspire millions even as the mysteries surrounding his death remain. This verdict, largely ignored by the mainstream media, added fuel to the fire of conspiracy theories. The trial that shook America, the unanswered questions, and the ongoing search for truth serve as a testament to the enduring legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His voice may have been silenced on that fateful day in 1968, but his message continues to echo throughout the world. Prominent figures have come forward, questioning the official narrative. Indeed, 
Over the years, a number of individuals have raised their voices to challenge the accepted version of events surrounding Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. One such individual is Mark Lane, a lawyer and a fervent critic of the government's account of King's death. Lane has been persistent in his quest for truth, alleging a government cover-up and involvement in the assassination. He insists that the official narrative is a veil, a smokescreen intended to hide the truth from the public. His persistent claims have led many to question the generally accepted story and have fueled the fires of conspiracy theories. Lane is not alone in his skepticism. As time has passed, more and more voices of dissent have emerged, some from unexpected corners. Bernice King, Dr. King's own daughter, has also expressed doubts about the official narrative. She, along with other members of her family, believes that the man convicted for her father's murder, James Earl Ray, was not the true assassin. This belief led to a civil suit against the U.S. government, which further stoked the embers of doubt and dissent. Then there are those who have used their investigative skills to dissect the events surrounding King's assassination. Independent researchers and journalists have delved into the murky depths of the assassination, unearthing inconsistencies and questionable details that the official narrative fails to explain. Their work has added further layers of complexity to the story, providing more fodder for those questioning the official account. The evidence that these dissenting voices put forward varies. Some point to the illegal surveillance of King by the FBI and CIA as evidence of a broader conspiracy. Others highlight the suspect aspects of the incident itself and the inconclusive ballistics tests on the murder weapon. Still, others draw attention to King's contentious relationship with the FBI, suggesting that this might have played a role in his assassination. Of course, these voices of dissent have not gone unchallenged. Critics argue that these theories lack concrete evidence and rely heavily on speculation and conjecture. Yet these dissenting voices have managed to keep the debate alive, ensuring that questions about King's assassination continue to circulate, refusing to be silenced or forgotten. Their claims, while controversial, have kept the debate alive. And so, the quest for the truth continues, fueled by these voices of dissent, echoing through the years, keeping the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination not just as a historical event, but a living, breathing mystery that begs to be solved. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. leaves us with more questions than answers. In the aftermath of that fateful day on April 4, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, numerous questions and inconsistencies have emerged, casting a veil of ambiguity over the official narrative. The assassination of a man who stood for peace and equality has left us wrestling with a mystery that, despite the passage of time, remains largely unresolved. One crucial factor that raises eyebrows is the inconclusive ballistics tests on the alleged murder weapon. The rifle said to be used by James Earl Ray, the man accused of pulling the trigger, has been subjected to numerous tests. Yet the results have failed to provide a definitive link between the weapon and the crime. This glaring inconsistency fuels the fire of uncertainty, leaving us pondering. Was the real weapon ever found? Or is the truth buried beneath layers of deception? Another intriguing aspect of this mystery is King's contentious relationship with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The FBI's surveillance of King was not merely a secret observation from the shadows. It was a full-blown, invasive scrutiny that bordered on obsession. King was deemed a threat to the status quo, his powerful voice and influence seen as a challenge to the establishment. But why would the FBI, a federal entity tasked with upholding the law, engage in such relentless surveillance of a civil rights leader? Was it merely to maintain the so-called status quo? Or was there more to it, a darker, more sinister motive lurking beneath the surface? The depth of the FBI's involvement in King's life has led many to question their role in his death. Could it be that the very institution that was supposed to protect American citizens was involved in the assassination of one of the most influential figures of the 20th century? These unanswered questions and inconsistencies in the official narrative continue to stir doubts, prompting us to look beyond the surface, to question the established truths, and to seek answers that may be uncomfortable but are necessary for justice. These unresolved mysteries continue to cast a shadow over King's assassination. Despite the controversy surrounding his death, King's legacy continues to inspire. Martin Luther King Jr., a man of profound strength and unyielding determination, left an indelible mark on the annals of American history. His journey, fraught with trials and tribulations, was a testament to his unrelenting pursuit of civil rights and equality. 
Born into a world marred by racial segregation and inequality, King rose to prominence during a tumultuous time in the United States. His eloquent speeches, most notably the iconic, I Have a Dream, galvanized a nation and ignited a movement. His advocacy for nonviolent resistance, his vision of a world where individuals are judged by their character rather than their color, continue to resonate today. King was not just a civil rights leader, he was a beacon of hope. In 1964, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, a testament to his tireless efforts to dismantle the institutionalized racism that plagued America. He donated the entire prize money to further the cause of the civil rights movement, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to the cause he held dear. However, King's legacy extends beyond his lifetime. His family, guided by his enduring principles, continues his fight for justice. His daughter, Bernice King, is a vocal advocate for equality and justice, standing tall against discriminatory legislation and actions that threaten to erase black history and restrict diversity programs. She, like her father, believes in a global, inclusive dream rooted in eradicating racism, materialism, and militarism. King's influence permeates the fabric of our society. His teachings, his philosophy, his dream are all integral to our understanding of racial justice and democracy. They provide us with the tools to confront our past injustices and the courage to challenge the status quo. Despite the numerous arrests and the significant opposition he faced, King never faltered. He stood firm in his belief that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. His resilience in the face of adversity, his unwavering faith in the power of love and nonviolence serve as an inspiration for generations to come. In the face of unresolved questions about his assassination, King's message of love, justice, and equality remains undimmed. His legacy, far-reaching and profound, serves as a constant reminder of the power of a single dream and the enduring strength of the human spirit. As we navigate the complexities of our contemporary world, we must remember King's teachings, his vision, for it is in understanding our past that we can hope to shape a better, more equitable future. The quest for the truth about King's assassination continues. It's a winding path, stretching back more than half a century, tangled with shadows of doubt and unanswered questions. Yet it's a path we must tread, for truth is the cornerstone of justice, and justice was the very principle Martin Luther King Jr. devoted his life to. In the digital age, the interest in King's assassination conspiracy theories has only intensified. Forums buzz with debates, documentaries dissect every detail, and scholars pour over archives and testimonies. It's a testament to the enduring impact of King's life and the questions his death left behind. And it's not just about satisfying curiosity, it's about learning from the past, understanding the forces that shaped our history. It's about recognizing the patterns, the echoes of power dynamics, of racial tension, of state surveillance that reverberate in our present. For instance, consider the parallels drawn between the political climate of 1968 and 2021, where the struggle between racial justice and maintaining the status quo continues. Or look at the recent debates around educational policies in Florida, where discussions about race, gender, and sexuality are being restricted. These are reflections of the same issues King fought against, reminders of how far we've come and how far we still have to go. We must also consider the implications of these conspiracy theories on King's legacy. What does it mean for his family, who believe he was not killed by James Earl Ray? What does it mean for the civil rights movement, which King led with such courage and conviction? And what does it mean for us as we grapple with the complexities of our shared history? In this quest for truth, we are not just uncovering facts about a single event. We are delving into the heart of a nation's history, into the struggle for equality that has defined it. This quest is a call to action, a reminder of the work still to be done, of the ideals we must continue to uphold. So we continue this journey, driven by a commitment to justice, guided by the spirit of King's legacy. We keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, keep striving to understand the truth behind the shadows. For it is only through understanding our past that we can truly shape our future. As we continue this journey for truth, we honor King's legacy and reaffirm our commitment to justice. History is full of mysteries and the truth often lies where we least expect it. As we have journeyed through the intricacies of the Martin Luther King Jr. assassination, one thing has remained clear, there is much we still don't know. The official narrative is shrouded in shadows. The web of conspiracies is tangled, 
and the voices of dissent continue to echo. The trial that shook America left us with more questions than answers, and Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy continues to inspire us to seek the truth. The quest for truth is a shared responsibility. It's not just about uncovering the past, it's about understanding the present and shaping the future. By delving into the unresolved mystery of King's assassination, we are not merely indulging in sensationalism, we are participating in the ongoing struggle for justice, for truth, and for a better world. Though over half a century has passed since that fateful day in Memphis, the echoes of the gunshot that took King's life still reverberate. The questions it raised still demand answers. The legacy of King's life and his call for equality, justice, and peace continue to inspire us. And the unresolved aspects of his death remind us of the importance of persistent inquiry and the courage to question. Every piece of history we uncover, every question we ask, and every answer we seek brings us one step closer to understanding the complex tapestry of our shared past. These are not just stories of individuals or events, they are narratives that shape our collective consciousness, our understanding of who we are, and our vision of who we can become. So let's continue this journey together. Let's keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and keep the flame of curiosity alive. Let's honor the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., not just by remembering his life, but by seeking the truth about his death. Unearth more of history's intriguing mysteries with us. Subscribe to History Facts on YouTube for more videos like this. Together, let's keep history alive.